This rare video footage shows a new Sukhoi Su-34 fullback fighter bomber refueling near Voronezh. This complex mid-air refueling process requires extreme focus and precision. Mid-air refueling is the ultimate in pilot skills. This process has its challenges, including close proximity of aircraft and psychological issues. Pilots call the IL-78M tanker aircraft their workhorse. These special purpose aircraft serve with the unique tanker aircraft wing of the Russian Air Force. This IL-78 aircraft has a maximum takeoff weight of 210 metric tons. This is a good plane, but it weighs a lot. It's a bit difficult to get it off the ground and to control it without exceeding certain restrictions. The tank contains 126 metric tons of fuel, or over 50% of the plane's weight. This is enough to refuel several strategic bombers or up to 20 air superiority fighters. The planes are refueled at a speed of 500 miles per hour. The operator sitting inside the IL-78's tail section releases 24 meter long hoses with a refueling cone. There are three hoses in the tail section, on the right wing and on the left wing. All I have to do is release the hose. The system will operate automatically. I have to push a tumbler switch to release the hose. As a rule, the hoses on the wing-mounted systems refuel the lighter air superiority fighters. The tail-mounted systems refuel the Tupolev Tu-95 Bear and Tu-160 Blackjack strategic bombers, which can fly in the IL-78's wake. The IL-78 tanker aircraft primarily refuel strategic bombers during their long-duration patrols along Russian borders. The IL-78 aircraft encounter NATO fighters during almost every flight. Yes, they would sometimes approach us and show the undersides of the planes of the fuel tanks and missiles, which, if necessary, could be launched against us. But they would usually act friendly, and we just got our own separate ways. Although tanker aircraft crews don't consider their work to be heroic feat, they admit they feel shivers when they think of refueling a huge strategic bomber depends on their discipline and professionalism.